Hey guys, uh, it's me, Holly. This is my first ever, uh, what do they call it, voiceover. So excuse me if this is a little awkward and rambly. But um, I wanted to come in here and uh, tell you a little bit about what this piece is and some of the materials that I use. And how I, uh, how I kind of liked them or didn't like them. Well, it's not that I didn't like them. There was just some struggles with some of these watercolors. So, the watercolors that I'm using here for the background are <laughs> Crafts for All. Like, literally Crafts, the number four all. And Brian got them for me for Christmas. I'm guessing off Amazon because that's where he always gets my Christmas presents. But uh, they're not bad. I will say that I really like the colors of them. They're super bright and they just they look really pretty all together and layered together. But they don't move like other watercolors that I've used. I guess it's because they're a quote-unquote value brand, I guess. Brian, I love you, but you're cheap. <laughs> um, and so, like, as they would dry, they would make these weird edges. And, like, usually I can do a wash with the watercolors that I usually use, which are the Reeves watercolors. And granted, they aren't the best either. They're like a, a student grade. But they don't they, they don't leave these like hard, messy edges like the crafts for all watercolors did. And it it didn't look bad, it was just different than what I was used to and I wasn't expecting it. So there, there's pros and cons pros and cons. I can't talk. It's still early. <laughs> uh, I like the color. I like the way they blended together and kind of layered over top of each other in nice thin washes. But some of the edges were a little too rough. And also, I was, I was struggling once I was getting to right around this part when I was working with the hair, and especially up at the top where the green was supposed to fade into blue. For some reason, as it would dry down, it would not be pigmented at all, no matter how much more I put in it. And that could have been my fault, or it could have been the paint's fault, I'm not sure, but I got frustrated and left it alone. So, the idea behind this piece uh, I watch the news too much, <laughs> and I watch too many political talk shows and YouTube clips of political talk shows, and I guess one morning I was sitting there binge-watching some stuff, and it, it kind of got to me, so... That's where the title, Mother Nature Weeping for America, came from. Because I was sitting there and just thinking a little too hard about all the nonsense that's been going on. And in, in not just our country, but all across the world. And how people are treating each other. and It's just awful. And it made me really sad. And specifically, I ended up watching the uh, the coverage on the false missile threat in Hawaii recently. And that started really getting to me. So that's, that's kind of where this piece stems from. Is me just... <laughs> watching the news too much and everyone I talk to tells me like you shouldn't be doing that <laughs> turn the news off 
I don't know if you can hear him in the background, but my cat Raja is losing his mind at my office door. So, if you hear little meows in the background, that's who that is. <laughs> but overall, this piece was really, really fun to do. It, it's been a minute since I broke out my watercolors and I really wanted to try this set that Bri got me for Christmas. And overall, I'd say I like it. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe I just need to use it more before I completely cast it away. Because I've only used it maybe once or twice now since I got it. So, I'm gonna try and be fair and use it a few more times before I get frustrated. So, yeah. 2018, right? What a what a crazy year already. Hopefully, I get to make more videos for you guys. And I would like to be more active on here. I know that the YouTube thing and is kind of just... It's not phasing out, but it's phasing out. And YouTube's being funky with, it, with its monetization and stuff, but... I love making these videos, and I don't ever care if I get to be a YouTube partner or whatever. I just like hanging out with you guys and showing you what I'm working on, and hopefully you guys like it too. So, thanks for sticking around. I hope this rambly voiceover wasn't too incoherent, and uh, maybe I'll do a couple more. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. Alright. Till next time, folks. See ya!